if you're in a last second situation, you know, our philosophy would be most of the time not to call a timeout. But we practice that way. Starting with the very first day of practice, I put two game situations in our practice plan every day. One would probably be a last second shot or a last second defensive possession that we have to defend and rebound to win. One may be an end of half situation or a low shot clock situation. But I think that you practice that way. We have kind of been able to know what we're going to do, and most likely it's going to be a quick ball screen for our point guard, and we're going to have good spacing with our shooters and let him come off and make a read. Is he going to the bucket? Is he hitting the roll guy? Is he kicking it to a shooter? But we practice that. You know, that's the biggest thing. You know, I don't, in timeouts, I don't have a marker board to kind of draw stuff because I think you need to do that in practice. If I'm drawing stuff up at a timeout that may be a little foreign, I think that sends off a message, and I think it confuses. So do your game situations, your sets at the end of a clock. Do all that in your practice setting. And there's many times that I'll say in a timeout in the last minute or two, fellas, remember this game situation that's on the board right now for real on national TV? We did that last Tuesday. Do you remember? And guys will go, yeah, we did. And there's a little bit of comfort because we've been in it. 